What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today, Diablo and Blizzard, they released the Season 28 patch notes coming for the PTR and all the changes. So in today's video, we're gonna go over all of the class changes that are coming. We're gonna go all over this. If you wanna see the previous video that we did, we, did, uh, we went over all the new seasonal theme and everything that's gonna be in the new season, which is really, really great. Make sure to check out that video. But today we're focusing just on the monk changes because this, the video was pretty long. So today is just that. So let's hop right into it. All right, let's look at the class changes coming. Cause this is, this is one thing I'm really excited about besides the, uh, the seasonal theme. So monk combination skill strike each different spill or this is what it used to be. Now each spirit generator increases the damage of other, other spirit generators by hundred percent instead of 10%. Very good. Crippling wave skill. Every third hit dazes enemies, uh, and slowing their movement and attack speed. It's kind of cool. So three seconds, it's 10. Hit by crippling, crippling wave for 10 seconds. That's nice. The foresight rune. Every enemy hit does more damage. That's cool. Way of the fist assimilation. Each enemy hit with a third hit increases your damage by 10%. Okay. So these are very small changes to the monk. Um, the combination strike. It looks like they're trying to buff some of the other um, builds besides uh, just like LOD or um, Innas. So these are nice. Those are okay. I have to see how those work out. Item changes. Barbarian. Horn of the 90 Savages. Frenzy now deals 2,000 damage increase per stack. Huge. See, this is what I like Blizzard to do. It, I've really hated over the years where like they take classes and it's like, hey, there's only one, one build that you can make that's the strongest. Like there's so many, like there's so many sets. Like all of them should be viable to a degree. I know some of them are the best, but some of them should at least be viable enough to play. You know, at least be strong enough. Uh, Demon Hunter, Canton Bowler, Spike Traps, uh, Lure Enemies, that's kind of nice, and deal increased damage, enemies may be taunted every 10, okay, the Demon's Demise, each Black Spike Trap will damage all enemies after one second, okay, Natalia's Slayer, increased spike damage, the two-piece bonus instead will, hitting an enemy summons a Spike Trap, if it's on your action bar, each Spike Trap detonate restores one discipline, ooh, this is nice, okay, four piece laying a spike oh instead of rain of vengeance so we're going away from rain of vengeance laying a spike grants 60 percent damage reduction the duration of this bonus will always equal the number already laid traps in seconds oh, okay so it's 60 percent damage reduction the duration equal to the number of already laid traps but then each time you each hitting an enemy summons a trap so as long as you're hitting enemies, you'll summon a trap and you'll have permanent 60% damage reduction. Nice. Six piece. See, I love it going away from random vengeance, man. That never really hit. Spike trap deals 10,000% increased damage. And each consecutive blast and detonation chain reaction will deal 10% more. I like this. This is going to be an interesting build. It's a trap build, basically. That's kind of cool. Tragool coils. Uh, the rune. Now, spike traps gain scatter room, which are deployed as twice as fast and deal increased damage. Very nice. Unhallowed Essence. Ooh, they're changing this. Hatred generating. So this is what it used to be. 350% damage. Now deals 1,700%. Bro, Unhallowed Essence is just going to be so good, man. Per point of discipline. This is so good. That makes it so strong. Oh my God, that's so good. Okay, and Hollow Essence is going to be a problem. That's going to be nice. It might it might be one of the best farming builds again next season, even without Strafe. Because the build is already fast. Like, even without Strafe, it's fast. Monk. Pattern of Justice. Hitting with Tempest Rune while Sweeping Wind is active. Increases the size as well as being... So, 5,000 more damage. That's nice. Uh, Remnant. Dashing Strike return spends 25 spirit instead of 75, but refunds a charge. This is great. This is going to make like farming rainbow goblins and doing speed runs just really nice. Necromancer. Okay. They're buffing Necro. It's about dang time. Masquerade is getting 3,000% more damage and Simulacrums triple this bonus. So Simulacrums go to 27%, 27,000% increased damage on Bone Spear. Okay, Blizzard. It's about time. Okay, it's about dang time. All right? 
Masquerade, I realized for a couple seasons, Masquerade with Bone Spear was hella strong. But you guys nerfed it so bad, it basically made the Necromancer class unplayable. This should be a very good balance. I hope this returns Necromancer, the Bone Spear build, to at least A tier, if not S tier. Because the build is super good, okay? And now with the addition of, you know, the, the Blood Nova build, as well as um, Army of the Dead being in very good spots, doing this is huge for the Necromancer class. I freaking love it. Way to go, Blizzard. Wizard, the Typhlone's Veil, uh, so Hydra's deal 2,000 more damage for each Hydra. This is good. I mean, I've never been a big Hydra fan because I just feel like the build is just so slow. It, it, I mean, maybe it'll be good for, like, greater rift pushing, but otherwise, it's it's okay. This is fine. All right, and then we got how to participate in the PTR, guys. If you're interested, go to the Battle.net app, navigate down, and you're going to change it from Diablo 3 to the PTR. Pretty easy, and then you can character copy. Whew! All right, guys, that is the patch notes for season 28 this is absolutely amazing i am very very excited remember guys january 31st it all starts um i will be cranking out hard on this and testing out a lot of the things that are in here so i'm very very excited like the video guys if this has helped you out in uh looking forward to diablo uh the very last season this is i mean maybe it's not the last season but i'm pretty sure that they said they were don't you know quote me on that but um like the video, guys. Comment down below what do you think about the patch notes and the seasonal theme of the Rites of Sanctuary coming, as well as some of these class changes, which is really, really strong. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you are new here. We have a lot of people checking out the channel in these videos who aren't subscribed, so please subscribe to the channel, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.